strong affiliation with Alvi. No, Alvi. Is Alvi. 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 Well, my, my grandfather, John Moore, was an Elvis man. Um, but we, the only thing he left of the car was everything except the car. So my mother presented me with a cigar box and inside it was all the badges and all the paperwork and the keys and everything. But no car. And to be honest, Tom, I would have rather have had the car. Story of my life. But when you said, come up and have a look at this one, by the way, it's the most powerful Elvis ever made, I thought... Well, I can't miss that opportunity. The world's fastest vintage Elvis. And it looks eagle. brutal, doesn't it? It's, it's sexy, it's gorgeous, it's black. What a car. What car doesn't look well in black when it's a racing car? Um, but it's so easy to start. People see this orange badge here and they think, oh, a methanol car, it's going to be the hardest thing in the world yeah. to start. There's going to be a whole procedure. Well, and like drag racing. I mean, I've, I've covered a lot of drag racing and it's a... They have a heck of a job. I nearly said something else. Then. They have a heck of a job getting them going. Yeah. As as long long as you got you're the, telling me this is easy. Yeah. So as long as you've got the right plugs in it. So we've got starting plugs, which are slightly softer. So much easier, especially on a coolish day today. What are we about? We haven't got to double figures yet. But all you need to do. That's why I'm still in tweet. This thing is <laughs> a, running a total loss electrical system. So there isn't anything that's required electrically once the car's running. So we've got a magneto. We've got a pressurised fuel tank, which I'm pressurising now. I can tell we've got that because I'm, you're I'm, pushing I'm, that I'm, thing I'm doing, I'm doing something there. I'm surprised you're not getting me to do that. A bit of a sweat on. And then all I need to do is turn on the fuel, like I've just done. I need this stuff, which is brake cleaner. <laughs> Rouse of gear. I'm, I think, right, I'll just stand over here. You stand back, <laughs> and I'm going to squirt through these holes, which are perfectly positioned. Oh, wow. To the so two, that's what they're for. To the two SU car brushes. So I'm going to give it a quick squirt there. I'm going to give it a quick squirt there. A bit of sniff, as we say in the business. I'm going to turn on the battery. I've got a slave battery there, and I'm going to reach underneath, because I can. Right. And I'm going to go in the hole. Fire in the hole. Here we go. Nearly. Oh, nearly. Near the other hole. There we go. I'm not used to trying two holes. Careful. Wow. <laughs> chassis so that's the the metal rails yeah axles are upgraded to silver eagle so slightly wider track for stability in cornering we've got anti-dive bars on the front axle so those brakes work and they're and period or have you added those those have been added by the guy who had this car built when he was 46 years old is now i'm not going to say an age on him but he was my age at the time he had this car built He's a professor of marketing who's spending his time flying around the world teaching people marketing. And he was having this car built by the legend Rod Jolly and also wow. 
Jones. Bob Jones, right. yeah. Right. So names you un understand. And then how the car developed over 40 odd years. And this is just a serious undertaking of a vehicle. Wow. And it is the world's fastest out of a silver eagle. 280 brake horsepower to the flywheel. Minimal losses in the rear axle. What's it's, the blower? Who's is the blower? Uh, I don't know. Don't ask oh, me that. Oh, we don't know. We don't know who the blower is. I was is. just trying to work it, out if, if we had an entirely British machine no, no, or there was any no, no, foreign it'll interference be, it'll be root, in it. It'll be a roots blower. Oil temp, water temp just getting up. Because supercharging was essentially, it was a British thing, wasn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's done on a, a chain, which has to be serviced regularly, so they replace the chains because yeah, yeah. they do stretch. They, used, they tried doing it on gears at one point, and it kept blowing itself to bits. So we found a German manufacturer for the chains, and that's that's just been done recently before it came for sale. But it's a race-proven, race-winning, smile and thought-provoking vehicle. Does the development of it not disqualify it from no, competition? No, no, it runs in all the ethos of VSCC ah. competition. It's <laughs> so all about the ethos. So yeah. it's all vintage. Uh, it's original crankcase that's all been super strengthened to carry right. that power. Um, I can't tell you what it's blowing, but it'll be blowing some decent power. We're coming up to temperature so we can sort of head out for a drive, if you're game, I am. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to have a so go with we'll this. shoot it up the road, okay. and we'll see if the cameraman can keep up. I wish I brought me cap. My wings coming off. <laughs> right. I, I won't bother with the cap either. So.